I'm Ashley Dvorkin for FoxNews.com. 3D printing can be used for almost anything, including the cutest cart for a little guy named Turbo Roo. Turbo Roo is a chihuahua born without front legs. The veterinary office he was staying at tried to make him a cart to move around with, but it was nothing like what he has now, thanks to a mechanical engineer with a 3D printer. Joining us is Ashley Looper, the veterinary technician who ended up adopting Turbo Roo, and Turbo Roo's dad, Ray Hurt, and Turbo Roo himself. So welcome to all of you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> Um, okay, so first, tell us how Turbo Root, there he is, tell us how <laughs> Turbo Root ended up in your care and then what you tried to do for him when you saw his condition. Um, so Turbo Root was surrendered to um, the vet clinic that I work for. Um, the breeder realized that she needed to care, um, focus her care more on mom and the puppies um, than Turbo, and that Turbo needed special one-on-one -on -one care. Um, so since day one that he was brought into the clinic, um, I decided to foster him. Um, took him home with me every single night, brought him to work with me every single day, much like we do now, um, that he's actually my own pet. And tell us about this 3D invention, who made it and, and how it works, this new cart that he has. Cart that was made um, is out of um, San Diego. Um, a guy named Mark with 3DYN um, actually made the cart. He had messaged me on my personal Facebook and asked me um, if it would be okay for him to make a um, cart for Turbo. Um, within two days, he basically, without measurements, without anything, sent me a message and said, I have a cart for you. It'll be in the mail. You should get it by Thursday, which was two days after we spoke. Um, the first cart was a little bit big, um, and it kind of drug a little bit in his belly. Um, so we worked with Mark back and forth, and um, the third version that we have now is a four wheel cart um, and he seems to be getting around really well with it. It still needs a little bit of tweaks but um, for the most part it's doing really well. I think we have another friend joining us. Do you want to make an introduction? <laughs> Who is this? This is, this is Braxton. <laughs> this is uh, Turbo Roo's big brother. Um, he's an eight year old puggle. Um, Oh, he's cute. Yeah, he likes the spotlight. There he is, right in the middle. All right, well, welcome. Um, now, for Turbo Root, how is he doing now? And then what is the process? Because we're, will there be more customizing? And especially as he gets older and, and bigger, although I'm not, how, I'm not sure how much bigger the, the teacup chihuahuas get. <laughs> he, um, there'll be a lot of customizing. Mark and I spoke the other day um, via Facebook. And um, he's basically wanting a mold of Turbo, which we're working on getting um, hopefully this weekend, that is, you know, specific to his body and himself. Um, we've tried two or three different times to actually scan him, um, and just the movement of him breathing um, didn't allow an accurate scan of him. So we're working with Mark um, to update his parts as he grows. He should get to anywhere between about five to eight pounds at the very most, um, being a teacup chihuahua. Um, and then Mark actually spoke with me the other day about giving him a customized cart once he gets the full grown and his full age made out of carbon fiber and especially fitted to his body and, and how he, um, he is shaped. Sure. And now, are animals like Turbo Roo very adaptable? Like, does he get used to the new carts pretty quickly? He does. And, not, I mean, not only does he do extremely well in the cart, um, just here in the house on the carpet, he's willing to jump kind of like a little frog would um, and suit himself around. And we're working um, on getting him able to walk completely upright as well. So he'll have three different options um, as he grows to actually get himself around. Um, the scooting, the standing, and then also his cart. And uh, he's becoming quite the superstar on social media. Uh, right now, he has over 20,000 followers on Instagram. So what do you think of his internet fame? Um, I think it's amazing. Um, working in the veterinary field and seeing um, thing, different things every single day, um, you know, most of the time it's, it's positive um, stories, but, you know, you always see the negative, too. And I think it's amazing that people are just so supportive of him. Um, you know, multiple people, not just companies, people, you know, from New Mexico and Ohio have offered to make carts of their own 
just to try, you know, out of their garage to get him up and moving. Um, we've had people call from Argentina and message from Mexico, which is amazing to think that there's somebody, you know, multiple people out there in the world sitting at lunch talking about Turbo. And it really is just really inspiring that people are so supportive and, and love to see his story. Absolutely. Well, great. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Really appreciate it. All the best to you. Thank you. Thank you, as always, for watching. For FoxNews.com, I'm Ashley Dvorkin.